hi guys and welcome to my channel um happy new year's compliments to the new year of course and remember on this channel we talk all things making money online so for now i'm still focusing on esl or rather teaching english online so on this video i'll focus on 10 things you need to have or you need to master in order to be a successful esl teacher so i'm currently working for two companies which is preppy and italki and i also do other things but i think i've gotten like some sort of experience for working for these two companies so before wasting any of our time i want us to start with the first point point number one you need to be fluent in english so therefore you need to be comfortable with speaking english for long periods of time so you cannot say oh so tired of speaking yo i'm it. you have to speak maybe for eight hours a day and by you speaking that long actually it, you like practicing to be more fluent and more comfortable with speaking english so of course i would also promote or encourage reading english books and consuming of english content so the second point, you should have your TOEFL certificate. I um, took my course using a, a website that I got on Hyperlink, which I got for plus minus 500 rands and I did it within three weeks and it works the same as the ones that you get for 14,000, 20,000 where you have to actually be at school and i'm actually really happy with the course because it taught me a lot of things about teaching english online teaching children and strategies on how to get more clients so point number three is you have to have a laptop or a cell phone so um, if you don't have a laptop there are companies that strictly function using cell phones such as Palfish so you don't have to rush to go and buy um, a laptop if you have a cell phone you can conduct your lessons on the cell phone until you have finances or comfortable with buying a laptop and point number four you should have strong internet um, connection or strong internet access I currently use rain and in the area that I am in it works perfectly fine it's strong um, whether it's raining or not I can have my lessons um, I'm extremely happy with the rain and it's affordable it's 489 a month and uh, I sometimes share it with my family when I'm not having lessons so I'm quite happy with rain and Point number five you should have headsets or earphones so for other companies they require you to have headsets or earphones I personally do not use them because having them on my head for long periods of time I tend to have headaches um, or my I get like uncomfortable on my head but I did order them just for yoga because I want to start yoga and meditation so i will be having them soon i did have them initially but i stopped using them because i have already students and i really don't have to be um impressing companies because I, I already have i'm already working for a couple of companies the next point is you should have time especially when you're starting out you should have time and hours to um, provide the companies that you're working for in that way by you having hours you are um, attracting students because your calendar is all, always open and by that way you will, of course get more bookings because your calendar is always open but for me currently my calendar is not always open because I, as i said i'm doing a couple of things and i am no longer teaching full-time online but if you 
are not working currently and you want to make money i would suggest you um sacrificing maybe eight hours of your of your day so that you can have solid students and students that can depend on you that you are always available and the next time next point is patience you have to have patience in order for you to strive in this world because the the industry is there's a lot of teachers and in order for you to be successful you have to be patient and in that patience is either you're applying on different platforms or different schools and you are creating lesson plans and reading more on what difference you can impact to the people that you'll be teaching and the next one you should have your own lesson plans because other platforms um, they don't provide lesson plans so you can go on YouTube uh, or get some English textbooks and create lesson plans out of certain topics so for example um, during the holidays, you'll have a topic on Christmas or holidays or New Year's resolutions now so that you can be kind of current with the students and flow with the wave that they currently in in their lives. And um, number nine, you should have a quiet place. So I usually have a quiet place because when I'm teaching online, everyone is at work or at school. But now I think you can hear a background noises from my family or my neighbors walking around that I cannot control. But um, when I am teaching, I tell people around me to do lower your voice. I am using the client so that um, my clients don't get distracted with people talking, the television on high or on top level. And I've been discouraged to have lessons with me because there's a lot of things happening around me. So try to get a quiet place. If maybe at home you don't have space, uh, maybe um, look for a library. In certain libraries, there are like rooms. Look for a room where you can conduct your lessons um, in peace where you will not get disturbed. So the last point is faith. You should be a faithful person and trust that whatever's happening in your process is there to teach you something. I am a very spiritual person and things that build my faith is, of course, consuming a lot of Christian content <laughs> and, of course, praying. I pray a lot and also believing that God is going to do wonders for me so i want to encourage anyone who's currently maybe unemployed because i know that unemployment numbers in south africa are crazy to have a positive mindset and from a positive mindset um you'll get positive results so i hope these 10 points will help you in your esl journey and should you have any questions or comments please leave them below and of course don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you in my next video. Peace and love and remember God loves you. Bye.